What is up guys? Aaron back here at the park. It is the first day of the new year of 2022 and I'm going to start it off right with a long run. Not because it's the first day of the new year, but because it's Saturday and that's when I do my long runs. Discipline and consistency over days on a calendar. But it must be like uh, the theme every Saturday for like the last five Saturdays. It's been raining. We're still going to get it done. 17 and a half miles, five gauntlets and easy talking pace. The goal today is to get those uh, endurance adaptations, building my base, so getting the heart to expand, the mitochondria, getting them more efficient at using energy, that's what today is about. And it's about uh, consistently feeling good. As the duration goes, it's gonna eventually start to get harder, the perceived effort. So towards the end, I might be sluggish, but the first three, I should have a smile on my face. Got Ryan with me, let's see how it goes. But first, gotta get warmed up. Probably a half a mile in. Got a nice long descent. Too fast. 2.2 miles, 9.13 average. I want like a 10.30 average, so we're gonna slow it down for real. I don't know, he says that before going fast. <laughs> And the lap one, and we're just going way too fast. You know, it's uh, it's for some people like me and Ryan, it's a very addictive feeling to push your upper end limits all the time. But guess what? Horrible training for the long term. So today is about just uh, talking, relaxing, enjoying. The rain actually feels really good. It's like 54 degrees. I might even be steaming. 
Uh, what do I got here? I got two scoops of Tailwind. So today I brought 400 calories worth of Tailwind. That's gonna be my, so I'll probably drink half a bottle a lap. So we got four more laps. We've got to slow it down. We're gonna make sure that happens. And yeah, just keep it lighthearted, feeling good, stretching the legs out, building that aerobic base, getting those mitochondria adaptations, bigger heart, focusing on breathing, staying calm. We were just talking about mindset and how important that is. It's like, it's a separating factor for athletes. So yeah, let's get back to work. Ain't nothing like sugar water for breakfast. <laughs> 9.19, 5.4. I don't know why, it feels like we're going slow, but time's not going up. <laughs> Crush is downhill. Woo! Out here in the rain, cheering us on, getting footage for all you guys. What's not to love about this? I don't like the sunny, hot days. I like the nice, chilly, rainy, cloudy. It really tests the resolve just a little bit different. One thing I really try to do too, to force myself to slow down, or at least give myself an incentive to slow down, is to really dial in my form. So really, trying to keep a nice circular motion with my legs and just, I'm just focusing on turning over. I'm not even focusing on pulling. So if you look at my feet, they're just hitting the ground. I'm not pulling. I'm just picking them up and turning them over. Nice circular motion. Rip cage up, spine long, they're playing in the corner, breathing, having fun, making the most of it. Transition, 922 average, seven miles, 1400 feet of climbing. Yeah, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, but here's the thing, low intensities over long durations still accumulate a lot of fatigue. So even though it's not short and fast, which is a lot of fatigue as well, it's low intensity, long, so over time, it's gonna, that performance is gonna go down and perceived effort's gonna go up. Some more tailwind, probably 100 calories. Eight miles, 930 average. Feeling good, but about this time the springiness in the legs is starting to go. So I still feel great, still feel fine. Legs are just getting a little dull. That is all. Uh, three done. Oh, thank you. Oh, hot. 932 average. 10. 10 three quarters mile. Feeling good, I'm feeling really good. Uh, you know, when you're out here for these long runs, you go through a lot of emotions because, you know, it's like a life cycle. You start like a baby, nice and fresh, feeling good, excited. And as each lap goes on, each mile, you feel older, 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 your form drops, right? And you feel cramping up. But mentally, it's the same thing. Mentally, you feel fresh. And as the fatigue sets in, it's just chipping away, breaking down deeper and deeper to the core. So when that moment comes, it all stems from the mind. So as you feel the mind start to deteriorate, you gotta start putting it back together. So as it's falling apart, you gotta constantly keep putting it back together. That's with positive self-talk, positive thinking, and positive action, and a lot of fucking self-belief. We're getting back after it, we got two more. Two more. Oh, no. 
<laughs> All right, that was the final or the fourth lap. 14.2 miles, 940 pace, I think. Uh, getting some sugar because we're getting a little dizzy. The brain's getting a little foggy. Sugar really helps with that. That's kind of what a bonk is. Well, it's multiple things, but it starts with the brain starts to get foggy, not clear because it needs sugar at these higher ends. And then it goes, there's not sugar getting to the muscles. And the muscles shut down with the brain and then downward spiral. So we're getting a little bit of sugar in us. And we're gonna do this last lap. Nice, good effort. Still feeling good, feeling confident. Uh, and this is, this is good. This is where you wanna be six months out. Confident, still running decent times, and not breathing too heavy. Back to it, last lap. Do not enter the new year with a negative attitude. <laughs> All right, guys, I am very happy with that workout. Uh, it was a lot easier having Ryan here with me. We talked the whole time. 17.8 miles, I'll put Strava right here. 17.8 miles, 146 average heart rate, which is perfect and it's accurate because I got the monitor on. 943 average pace. I mean, at this point in training, I can't ask for anything better. I'm amazed with how easy the effort felt and how much fun I had actually. So great way to start the new year. Like, thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and as always, 